Yo, yeah, what is going on guys? My name is Gavin and welcome to the first episode of a new series on my channel creating a Discord bot in Discord PY. So Discord PY is the Python library for creating Discord bots. So there's Discord JS and JDO and there's also Discord PY. So pretty much what we're gonna go through this series is just going through the basics starting from the basics then going up to coding a more advanced discord bot so yeah first thing that we're going to want to go ahead and do is head over to python.org all links from this tutorial will be down in the description below and download python and then install that and then you should be going so i am currently on python 3.7 which is the latest update and yeah one thing I also recommend doing is you getting yourself an IDE such as Visual Studio Code. Sweet. So what we're going to do here is we are going to install Discord PY for PC. So what we can go ahead here and do is copy that command line right here. So github.com slash wraps slash discord.py is where the github branch is for the library do that hit go to open up a command prompt and then just paste that in right there and once you install that everything should be good i already have it installed but i'm just going to let it go through so you guys can see just how it all goes and yeah so we'll just wait for that to go on and one thing I do recommend doing is yeah obviously getting Visual Studio Code for that and yeah I can't really say anything else but yeah so what we're going to do after we have installed that is we are going to head over to the Discord Developers Portal create a new application python2 if I can spell properly tutorials so we've created our new application we're going to head down here to the box hit add bot click yes to it and then we're going to come to O to war O war 2 sorry and we are going to check bots right there check administrator or whatever other permissions you want the bot to have copy that link come over here and then just paste that in and invite the bot to your server I will also have a discord server if you guys have any questions or anything or want help with your discord bots like I'm not going to help you fully but I'll give you guys suggestions and like if you guys have any errors and everything from the tutorials or whatever then I will try and try my best to help you guys get them through so once this is loaded up we can just skip that because yep and just verify that and once we come here you guys can see that we have our Python tutorials discord bot right there so I'm just going to give that the bots role and once we've gone ahead and done that we can head back over to bot copy your token because you're going to need that another thing is if, is if you guys don't want your bots to be added by anyone then go ahead and uncheck that so you can just go ahead and do that I'm just going to do that because I only want the bot to be invited by servers by myself so yeah that's pretty much that what we can go ahead and do now is head over to Visual Studio Code so what I've gone ahead and done beforehand is I've gone to my desktop and I've created a new folder I've opened up the folder in Visual Studio Code so you just hit file open folder and then you come here and just click the folder that you want to open so yeah we are going to create two files one of them is going to be our config.py 
and another one is going to be our bots.py so what we are going to do in our config is we are going to define the token equal to that so we have that and then we are going to define the prefix another thing is is that you guys don't want your token to be shown at all you guys don't want to share your token at all because then people can log into your bot using their own bot instances and their own code so one other thing we're going to define here is the prefix and for me I'm just going to do a dollar sign so I'm going to regenerate the token after the episode so you guys won't be able to log into the bot using your own code so once we've gone ahead and done that we are going to want to go ahead and go to the bots.py and we are going to do a couple of things here so imports discord and imports config so we've got that and then what we can do here is bot bots.run config dot token so it pulls that and we are going to do we are going to grab the prefix from the bot so one thing we're going to do for that here is from discord dot extension which is the commands framework for discord py import commands and then bot equals commands dot bot brackets command underscore prefix equals sign config dot prefix so that's going to grab the prefix from the config file so we can go ahead and do that and we are just going to create a ready event so at bot.event async async define on underscore ready brackets semicolon and then what we are going to do here is print one two three four five just for the looks print bot is online print one two three four five and once we've gone ahead and done that we should be ready to run the bot so what I'm going to do here is copy the path to the bot file cd into that on command prompt or you could use the editor in the visual studio code which for some reason mine just opens up command prompts but yeah so go ahead and exit out of that and then what we're going to do here is type of pi bots.py and that should print bot is online once that has started running up there we go so bot is online and as you guys can see here the bot is online so what we're going to do here is as you guys can see there's presences so we've seen on there's watching amount of guilds and then the prefix help so one thing we can go ahead and do for that here is after the on ready line we can go ahead and await that bots dot change underscore presence activity equals discord dot game and then we are going to go ahead and use an f string here and then put quotation marks there put squiggly brackets there config dot prefix and then we can put help right there and that should all be good so now if we go ahead and exit out of that instance of the bot and just wait for that to close down so once the bots closed down you can just go ahead and run the bot again 
it should print back but is online as we have defined in the file and once that comes online it will show us the presence of the bot so of course you can do stuff like streaming and everything but yeah as you guys can see here there's playing a game dollar sign help and yeah so that's that so last thing we are going to do here is create a ping command so what we are going to do for that is at bot stock command brackets async defined ping and then we are going to put context here hit enter await context got send f string i have a latency of and then what we are going to do here is we are going to round the bot's latency so going to put squiggly brackets here round bot dot latency and we are going to times that 1000 to 1 and then once we've gone ahead and done that we can go ahead and type ms right here just for looks and we can go ahead and make the latency bold I'm going to go ahead and format the file using alt shift f on visual studio code I'm going to stop that instance of the bot and then once we've gone ahead and started up the bot here it should print back bot is online as we've already seen and then once we've gone ahead and done that you will be able to see here when it comes online help so we've typed the help command you can see that we have a ping command right there and if we type dollar sign ping I have a latency of 232 ms milliseconds for short so yeah guys that's going to be it for the first tutorial I'm aiming to post one tutorial each week one or two tutorials each week for you to get the content up and rolling and yeah so that's going to be it guys if you guys enjoyed this tutorial don't forget to leave a like comment subscribe join the discord server for updates and everything and yeah have a great week